On a cool North Carolina morning, 184 hogs are slowly loaded onto a truck. A combination of unique breeding and specialized diet has earned their carcasses an 8,000-mile trip to Japan. But this export opportunity began 40 years ago with a humble spreadsheet. We wrote software for indexing pigs. We would measure the economic traits like born alive, 21-day litter weight, um, growth rate. Uh, we would measure back fat. The falling price of personal computers in the 1970s allowed the IVs to analyze their data with greater precision and encourage them to experiment with genetics and feed composition. The results of their testing led to a four-way cross hog that gained weight well while being calm in the hog house. The resulting meat stood out from other hogs being raised at the time. You know, the industry was chasing lean, 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 no intermuscular fat. Uh, that product's very hard to cook. Um, and can be very tough. The hogs were different. Their meat had marbling and a much higher fat content, which made the pork juicy on the plate. This marbling caught the attention of Japanese wholesaler Sumitomo, who was looking to import pork with some specific characteristics not normally seen coming out of U.S. hog houses. They came into the plant and they saw the pork that were based on these genetics, the four-way cross, and they basically said, that pork works for us. Started out with a tractor trailer load of hogs a week. The Ivies now ship more than 12,000 metric tons of pork to Japan annually. The partnership with Sumitomo came just after the Ivies had begun working with the Maxwell family to grow their hog operation. The Maxwells, the nation's largest turkey processor, had excess capacity at their Goldsboro, North Carolina feed mill, and together with the Ivies, grew a hog operation to over 70,000 breeding sows. Sumitomo branded the Ivies pork as silky pork. In Japan, the domestic pork is the, kind of the gold standard. And so we have the reputation of, of being not a commodity pork, but a special uh, dining experience that competes well with their domestic products, so we're very proud of that. The Japanese consumer is much more discerning than the American customer. While American households spend around 10% of their income on food, Japanese consumers spend more than 30%. The higher cash outlay is driven by a quest for quality and knowing as much as possible about the source of their food. The pursuit of the highest quality product remains part of the Ivy's business mix. The pair owns their own feed lab, which monitors the 750 semi-loads of inputs and mixed feed that pass through the plant each week. To guard against disease, every truck is washed before it travels to a farm using two different truck washes. At the plants where silky pork is processed, like this one in Rantoul, Illinois, Sumitomo places its own inspectors to help ensure the pork is being cut in the way Japanese consumers prefer. Yoki Miyawaki visits all the plants that process silky pork. Japanese consumer wants to have super safe products. Whatever it is, they want to make sure that it was produced under a safe production procedure and also wants to purchase stuff that is traceable. Although pork is a traditional protein source in Japan, it has been secondary to seafood. The westernization of the Japanese diet has included an increase in red meat consumption, especially among younger consumers. Learning the unique demands of the Japanese consumer has been one of the leading challenges for the Ivies. And they've really taught us a lot on how to, how to make food better and safer and, and, and taste good. So they've been a great customer and, and they've really, it's been a, a good learning experience because we think that the same thing is happening now in the United States. We believe that the American consumer is adapting to the Japanese model. There are more and more people that want to know the story behind their food production. Rantoul Foods, which handles the majority of the ivy silky pork, is a unique part of the supply chain. The owners strive for accuracy and quality over volume. 
The line moves at a much slower speed than conventional pork plants, allowing meat cutters to make more precise cuts and ensure the product always matches Sumitomo specifications. Each package is sealed individually, dunked in a cooling tank to remove any surplus heat, and inspected before boxing. The pork will remain at 34 degrees for the entire 17-day trip to Japan, delivered fresh to Sumitomo for slicing and delivery to retailers. One cut that is produced at Rantoul is the single ribbed belly. American processors usually cure it for bacon. However, the Japanese consumer slices the belly for cooking. At plants like Rantoul, the spare ribs are pulled out individually, leaving the rib meat attached to the belly. The cut earns a premium in Japan and justifies the labor-intensive prep. The Ivy's data and focus on quality has given Japanese retailers the confidence to market silky pork next to domestic pork successfully. And the brothers have plans to expand their reach by looking for markets closer to home. We, we think we've done that in Japan and we would love to do that here in the States. American consumer deserves it. I don't think they've gotten it yet. From Market to Market, I'm Peter Tubbs.